What's up, fandoms? Welcome back to another video. I'm Mr. Dark Light. And I'm Bash of Bash and Brains. And we're talking about The Porter Express, my favorite, number one top Christmas movie. This movie, I love it. The music, the story, everything. It really shows the Christmas spirit. It's about a boy who doesn't really believe in Santa. He's trying to do the research. He looks at the newspaper. He looks at the he looks at the magazines. He, he even looks at the at the dictionary to see if, if the North Pole really has a Santa. And he's trying his best because his friends are making fun of him because he doesn't really believe in Santa. And I completely understand because the thing is, who believes in Santa anymore? I'm sorry, because whoever is watching this, there is a Santa. Believe in yourself. Have deep in yourself. Believing is seen. That's what the conductor said in the Port Express. And I love the movie. The movie really brings you that Christmas spirit, the music. My favorite two songs is When Christmas Comes to Town and The Porter Express. Not The Porter Express. Um, Believe. The song Believe. When every time I hear When Christmas Comes to Town, I tear up because, you know, it's about Billy who singing about, you know, he's out. I have a feeling he's a foster kid. He's never really seen Christmas is because he moves all the time home to home. And you know, Santa finally comes to give him that Christmas gift. And I'm sorry, I'm going way behind. I'm going way forward to the movie. I just want to talk about the music because the music is beautiful. It's it really gives you that Christmas spirit, and I love this movie. It was based on a book that I love reading for Christmas, the Porter Express book, and it goes more deeper into the characters. The boy, well, they call him the hero boy. I don't really think he's the hero boy. He's just a boy who doesn't know he's asking questions he's telling people questions like his um guardian angel the homeless guy who's in the top of the train who's just having a good time on the train traveling yes. telling the telling the boy that you know he's on this train all the time because he loves it he believes in santa he tells him he makes fun of him for it but go right here mr Go ahead, um, Bass and Brain. Go right ahead. <laughs> I think that one's one of the most interesting ones. That, like the spirit is like in a way, like it's like a, like a side story along mm -hmm. with the main story. The main story of what is it, like basically it's like, it's like what is it? It's <laughs> his name. Was it the boy? The boy. Well, hero boy. Hero boy is like. Well, hero, I call him the boy. Hero boy. To me, <laughs> I like, already think he's a hero boy, but hey. I can't judge. I I, 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 I'm I, not I, judging. I, All right, I, I didn't type the name. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear. I was like, okay, that's fine. Tom Hanks pays all the characters. Lee pays is a, the boy of those self. Santa Claus, the conductor, the dad, the dad, and <laughs> and the and the guardian angels. And man, Tom Hanks. I hope they pay you a lot of money for that. And good choice, by the way. Tom Hanks has a good voice. He really does. He has that moment. He tells everything. I love it. And, you know, he's trying to tell the boy. Like, yeah, the boy's getting on his nerves and everything. The conductor, he's getting on his nerves because, you know, he's trying to stop them from going to the North Pole because they're in the budget. They're in the time. We have time. There's no time to spare. We need to go here now and then. And the boy stops the train because um, Billy, the only person who has a name, Billy, the little boy who, who's adopted, it's like, yeah, that wasn't even the main it's kind of character. Weird. It's, it's like, not even the main character. Wait, 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 wait. It's like Hero Boy, they showed his family. They showed it. Like, the sister. They, they showed the mom, dad, the sister. I'm like, come on. Yeah, love family. interest. <laughs> but he really he, did. Like, he's the, like, I was like, dude, isn't that the main character? Mm -hmm. But the main character don't go. Doesn't even have a name at all. What it's is, just Hero what's Boy. This, what's this dude? Why is this dude got a name? I know, right? What's so special about Billy? Yeah, he has, he has like some voicing and he sings. I guess because he was singing. But they didn't even get the girl the name either. No. They legit, they just called the girl. That's so weird. I was like, really? Like, you're getting Billy a name. What happened to the girl? The girl was singing too. The girl had a lot of character driven. The the girl is a leader. It's like... She she believes she believes in Christmas. She believes in Santa. She's trying to help her friends know more about Christmas. Helps the boy, like, understand, like, no, I believe it. Even when the boy is like, are you sure? And every time in the movie, he's like, are you sure? Are you sure? She got tired of it. And she was like, yep, I'm sure. And the little boy, that little boy is like, okay, man, damn. I was just kidding. I was like, I don't know. Okay. But she finally stand up for herself because that's what Alira does. And, and you know, <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's like, and I, the, I see it as like the storyline of like, you know, it's, it's whimsical. It's a child's dream. And also never really like, I was like, 
This is a new take for Christmas. Like, yes. There's a train that takes you to, to the North Pole. And based on a book. The Polar Express book. Yeah, that's a, it's a new take. I was like, because it's been a, like, there's been a race. Because that book came out a long time already. It came out, like, in the 90s, I think, that Polar Express. I want to say more than that. Probably the 70s, if anything. Probably further back. I was like, yeah. Like, Sorry, guys. Normally, we do research, but this time, we actually didn't. So, yeah, this just one, to let you know, there's a book out there. You know the Polar Express. You know the book. You read the book on Christmas. Everyone knows it. Your grandpa, your teacher, anywhere. I saw this movie when I was in elementary school, drinking hot chocolate. When they're singing the hot chocolate song, hot, 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 oh, hot chocolate. Oh, hot. Hey. I was like, yeah, where's my cookies? Where's my hot chocolate? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, Tom Hanks. I was like dancing around with it. I was like, hey, I give, I give Mr. Dark Light more credit. Was credit on it because I'm like, hey, I've, I've only known the movie. <laughs> I'm, I'm honest. I know the, the book, book, the movie, the music. I, Like I said, this is my top one. If you guys said, Mr. Dark, like, what's your favorite Christmas movie? The Porter's Press. What's your second one? Arthur's Perfect Se- um, Arthur's Perfect Christmas. But Adrian, that's uh, Mr. Dark, like, that's not a Christmas movie. Hey, I don't care. It's 58, mi- it's 58 minutes. It's a Christmas movie, okay? It's a Christmas movie. Uh, this this is and there he is. It, it is a Christmas movie. I was like, it, it's, it's because it, it is. It's the Polar Express. It's like yeah. you know, it's on the, it's Santa Claus. Come on, it's you know the, these kids taking a, a whimsical, fantasy trip to, to go North, to the North Pole, Pole and, to see Santa Claus. And, 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 it's, and it's a good like fa- like whoever like you know the writer of the book who came up with the idea. Of, the like, director, everything like they look, they put how what kids see it in their point of view. And, and I love it. Not only that, there was also, you know, it's like the mini adventures throughout this trip getting there. It's like, you know, the train losing control. Was it actually, didn't the train lose control twice? Yeah, twice. Oops. And then the boy lose the girl's ticket. Even though if I was in that train, I told the boy to leave that ticket alone. Let the girl come back. I was mostly upset about that. If I was in that train, I'd be like, look, man, look, kid. Leave that ticket alone. They're going to come back. They're not going to take that alone. They're just getting the boy hot chocolate. It, That's it. It's like, dude. But no, he wants to get involved with it. And I it's... understand he's the main character. I get it. You want to throw more story into it. But the thing is, to be honest with you, if you're in that train, when you stop that boy, I would stop him. It's like, I guess it's also like that. Little, <laughs> I didn't think of it right till right now. I was like, well, that's that little kid thought. Oh, let me go give her a ticket. You step outside the train. As soon as you step on the back of the train, what happens? Here comes that cold wind and blows it out. And then out of nowhere, that ticket was in a bird, a baby bird's mouth. Spit it out. It was literally rolling down the snow. Wolves are drive running around. And then uh, and magically, it went to the train. And you could tell it's a Christmas movie because the magic of this train that has it. And then the ticket comes back, and it's in the. I want to say it's like in the air conditioned vents. Yeah, it's in the vent. And, and then he gets it out and he's like, you know, I got the ticket now. The conductor took the little girl because they thought they were going to throw the little girl off the train. But no, it wasn't that. They just put her in the front so she can like pay off her her trip. Makes sense. You're going you're gonna to ride on a train. You got to pay off. You don't have a ticket. Yeah, something they do to throw you out. But, you know, it's a little girl. I don't think they're going to throw her in the middle of nowhere. I don't think so. <laughs> I think they also put it as of like, hey, like you keep keep this ticket safe, and they thought she well, she technically didn't keep it safe. She left it on the seat. Yeah. But it actually, that well, was. Well, she like, didn't have pockets though. She only yeah, had a gown. You know what? That's it's true. It's not her fault. That's true. That's true. That's true. Oh, I would have been holding on to that thing. I mean, well, then again, she had to open the door and she was. Holding I would put in my slipper like he did when he was oh, going off the train. Yeah. She should have did that. And she had, and if that boy knew to put that ticket in his shoe. Because the guardian angel was like, hey, put that somewhere safe. Oh, I'm going to put it in my shoe. I'm not going to put it in my pockets. I have a hole in my pocket. Oh, oh, by the way, he has a hole in his pocket, by the way. Sorry, we should have brought that out. It's all repeating. <laughs> it's repeating. Sorry, we got to repeat some stuff because... It, no, it's a repeating thing with yeah. that damn pocket. Pocket the whole entire time. Don't no worry, the pocket thing is later. We're going to tell you later about that. Oh. Sorry, I'm so excited because I love this Porter's Express movie. How are you doing? Best Christmas movie ever. Go check it out, guys. Best. If you were like, hey... We're making, we're decorating the Christmas tree. We're playing lights. What Christmas movie will we put on? Rudolph? Frosty? No, put the Polar Express. It is actually good. If you it's, read, it's a good family Christmas movie. And, it's for everyone. And, and I was going to say, um, it. not only that is the trip 
and um, that music and, and, and yes and the, it is a musical movie I love the anybody. music the album's amazing I listen to that album all the time every Christmas even on Thanksgiving I listen to it <laughs> um, <laughs> and for you know um, but also finally getting there to see Santa but one of the things that does happen is I'm like didn't I know there's two parts was I know they the train de- one of the, their car detaches so the low so we're going far from it. So I'm what happened? So I can't remember. So now I'm, I'm, I tell you about that part. So the boy, so Billy is in the caboose. The little, the girl tells the boy, the main character, let's talk to Billy, tell him to go see Santa because the conductor's like, you know, every kid wants to see Santa, but there's some kids that don't want to see him. And he said it in a rude way. The way he said it was so rude. So the little girl's like, hey. Let's go and talk to Billy about Santa. Wait, you came all this way. This boy, the main character, they stopped the train for you. Man, Man you I don't want to see Santa? And I understand why the little boy was upset because, you know, the little boy's like, you know, every Christmas, Santa never comes to see me or give me a gift. And he says it in the song when Christmas comes to town when Santa's never there when he needs him the most. And the little girl was like, you know, the little girl was like, you know, Christmas is about, you know, it's not about the presents. It's about being with each other, being with your friends and family and loving each other. You know, Santa does believe in you. He does know you exist, but you need to believe that he's there for you and he always will be there for you. The thing is, is like you came all this way for what to not see what's true. And it makes perfect sense because you see in the point of view what the the boy, the main character, is going through. He doesn't believe in Santa. And he legit's like, yeah, like, you know, you're here with your friends. We believe in you. Come with us and we can go. And that's when, like, when they enter the, 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 the caboose, the little boy steps on the little thing that detaches the train. They go off. They leave. They separate from the group and now they're like somewhere else. They're on the other side of the North Pole. Yeah, they're the, trying to go back. They're listening to the music because they're trying to go back to everyone else. They get stuck in the train garage and not only that, it's like, one of the, it's like that scene, I was like, what is it? You, you think it'll be like a solid street bridge for yeah. where that train goes over? I was like, <laughs> when they have to, they look down at what the train goes over, I'm like, Jeez, the rails are on separate, like, Little separate bridges like yeah. little bridges and I'm like dude I was like if I'm crossing that I'm doing this I'm you're going crawling. in there because they're deep like there is not like imagine like a like a, a dark hole imagine you're like on top of a mountain and you see and you drop a pin down that hole that pin will still be dropping you'll be like that's how it looked going down like for me for, for me I'm like hey I'm crawling. And they're like, okay. and they're wearing slippers and rain boots, by the way. They're not rain. Like, if it was me, I would take off my shoes and be barefooted to make sure that my skin hits the metal train wrist. I don't care if my feet get cut from the train on rails, as long as I don't fall over. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like a long way down. Like, I mean, obviously, they were going to make it over. Yeah, of course. Just with this movie, I'm like, they need to make it back. But they, uh, if this was real life, oh my god, bro, I'd be having a heart attack. I, I'm scared of heights. I'd be like, <laughs> I faint for a minute. <laughs> I'm going to the, what was it, the next scene with the. Uh, when they're into the. The elves, I want to say the elves' house. They're like the elves. You can tell because they're bigger than the buildings. Oh, yeah, they get to the. <laughs> well, they take that. What was it, that shoot? Yeah, they, thing? yeah the shoot. I and was they like. Get, they get into the. Basically, it's like a. Uh, gift process. I told, I told Bashing Brains, I was like, we're gonna be like, if we were ever there, we'd be like Wiener Pooh, we stuck in there, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I was like, because I saw the size of the town, I was like, dude, was it? We won't fit we're there. Put, was it like, who, who, who's getting greased up? Like, you want me to put Vaseline and grease around you? <laughs> or you put, you put Vaseline and grease around myself and push, push me through, man? <laughs> We be winning the poo. Yeah, like, I, know, I know what I look like. I wouldn't fit on that. I was like, oh, no, I'm good. I'm not going to fit through that. And then they go through the gift, like the workshop. The they, see, they see um, a kid named Steven who was naughty. 
And that was like, no, it's Christmas. Let's let it be. But next year, let's double check them twice. And then the elves leave. And then they go to the tunnels because they had to get to the place. They go through the workshop, I guess, where the presents are coming. And then there's a present, the last present. Yes. And it's for Billy. And, and that kid freaking chases after. He chases after her because he's like, that's my hometown. That's my name. And he looks at and he's like thinking, he's like, wait. He freaking, he, he snaps. He throws himself at it. <laughs> he snaps and he, he, I'm like, dude, like, you're like, you're really going to do this? You're going to yeah. freaking ruin everything? Because yeah, literally, like, I mean, they just saw the video work. Yeah. And CN was about to be. God, he like shakes it to you. He's like, I think I know what it is. He's not going to say it. Of course, we're not going to say it. But the thing is, is like, he finally got what he wanted. He finally got a Christmas gift that he's been asking for, for every Christmas that he's been through. And, you know, the elf is like, hey, just give it us, trust us. We know what we're doing. And yeah, the nerdy kid was in the back, too, because he was looking for his own gifts, and he got nothing but underwear. <laughs> the nerdy kid. The guy who plays um Mandark from Death's Laboratory. <laughs> the freaking voice, dude. He's got, what's it? got Mandark. 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 I was voice. saying that, and then Bachelor Brain was like, yeah, that is Mandark. I was like, yeah. I was like, ha, 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 ha. I was waiting for that. <laughs> I was waiting for him to start laughing like that. But then um, the elves knew that they were there. They're like, yeah, we knew you were there the whole time. I was like, hey, if you knew they were there the whole time, why didn't you say anything or do anything about it? Yeah, they land. They land basically right there. Perfect timing where it's basically like a big gathering of basically watching, like festival to yeah. watch Santa Claus walk come into town. And then he, take, he takes off on his sleigh. And I'm like, for me, it's like there's a during the festival. It's like one of the things is because what's the name? the boy or hero boy, whatever the hero boy, whatever you want to call him. Billy and the girl was it and uh They hear the bells when they're the bell the elves are having the bells for the reindeer. But the the main character doesn't really hear the bells. Mm-hmm. There's nothing but the kids hear them. Mm-hmm. And the little girl's like telling the main character I'm gonna call him the main character. <laughs> I'm gonna just call him the main character. He's not the hero boy for me. To me he's just a jerk. <laughs> um the main character legit doesn't hear anything because he literally does not believe in Santa. Until he sees it and he tells himself, he keeps reminding himself, like, you know, I believe, I believe. And then he finally hears that beautiful ringing of the bell. And it was so beautiful because he hears it and he finally believes. And Santa's right there, again, um, by Tom Hanks. <laughs> by Tom Hanks. And Tom Hanks, um, Santa Claus is like, believe in what? He's like, uh, I believe. I believe he stutters like a couple of times. That's fine. That's fine. I, that's fine. I can edit it. Yeah. Okay. That's fine by me. Uh, <laughs> he's got blurs. Yeah. No. No worry. I can edit it. It's all good. <laughs> um. But no. Um. So he gets the bell and he says, "I believe. I believe." Santa Claus is right there. He doesn't even know Santa Claus is right there. Legit. And I was and. He tells Santa, like, I believe this is yours. And he's like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, this is mine. And he looks around. He tells each kid. Like, he tells the nerdy kid, like, hey, yeah, be patient. He tells the little girl, you're a good leader. He tells Billy that, hey, you find me friends. And Billy's like, yeah, I make great friends. And then he tells the little boy, you know, the first present for Christmas is going to be him, the main character. Because he finally believes in Santa and he gives him the first gift. And the little boy, Santa's like, what do you want for Christmas? And the little boy's like, can I have the bell to prove everything that happened to me from this whole adventure? Mm-hmm. And, he, and he's like, makes sense. Perfect sense. And then the, the trip back, you know, um, it's kind of a sad thing. It's like, you almost believe it, right? Because he put the bell... And the, again, that reoccurring hole in the pocket, mm. he puts the bell in that pocket with the hole, and he thinks he's never gonna have the proof of what happened that night of anything or mm-hmm. ever to show anybody that like look. And uh, when he wakes up the next morning, because you know they're already sleeping in the train, yeah, they're getting dropped off back home, mm-hmm. and um, 
Billy gets his dream, you know, he gets his gift, you know, he gets his proof that, because he gets his gift there at his house. Mm-hmm. And um, the, the boy gets to hug the girl, what is it, saying goodbye and everything. And I was actually waiting for a kiss or something. I was like, Me too, I was, I was like, like, just kiss her already. I was like, it was like, it was a kind of a sweet moment, but also yeah. the, like the waking up the next morning and his, uh, the boy's sister actually finds an extra box. Like a little box. They, and it's not from anybody. It's not from anybody in the house. And it's, and it's the bell. From Mr. C. Sonic calls. Yeah, and, and he sort of tells him like, hey, I found this in my seat. Make sure you fix his pocket so nothing else will happen. And I love that. And then the, little, the boy hears it, the sister hears it, but his parents doesn't hear it. And I think that gives you a lot. And, he, like, and then Tom Hanks comes. He's the narrator. He's the older one. He said, yeah, like, I heard that bell for a really long time. Later on, my sister didn't hear the bell. But I can still hear it. And I still believe. And then that's how the movie ends. Beautiful movie. Amazing Christmas film. Go check it out, guys. The Porter's Press. It's Tom Hanks' movie. Tom Hanks, for sure. Go check out. It's still on HBO Max. Surprise. That's still there. But thank you guys for watching.